Okay, it's working. All right, cool. So my, <laughs> I had started filming this and then my goddamn battery died on my phone. So I had to quickly scramble and try and figure out where my, where my charging cable was. Good news was I found a dryer ball I'd been looking for for a while and I probably will promptly loosen it after my cat decides to play with it. So on to the video. This is gonna be super quick because I'm running behind on a bunch of different things right now and I'm pulling a really, really, really late night tonight to get some stuff done. Uh, first things first, I have a couple videos coming up this week which I think are gonna be pretty cool. One of them is in a little unusual extra playthrough that's just a really simple, casual game. I would highly recommend it. The demo is free, but you can find out more about that whenever the video drops. I will post in the community tab exactly when those are gonna be hitting and what's happening. I haven't figured out the schedule on anything yet. There's another video that I'm just finishing right now. It is uploading to YouTube. That one is going to be covering, it's going to be a bunch of the Engines of Creation episodes. Now, I know there's been a few people that have reached out if I'm ever going to finish episode two and three. I think that had to do with markers. And yes, I will. There is a reason for that. And I'll get into that later, actually, in those videos. In the meantime, I will quickly cover this. Uh, I ended up getting a bunch of photography equipment. And I had mentioned this before in previous videos from a friend of mine. And I decided to go ahead and do a full review of sections of it and this was one of the first ones this is a honeywell pentax spotmatic this is a great little camera i was learning quite a bit about it and did a deep dive in a fan forum of this particular camera and so i certainly learned a lot and i i'm hoping you guys are going to like the newer video of this this is also going to be similar to do a lot of the rest of the equipment that i have so it's going to span about five or six episodes the first one is about 20 minutes long, so that's good, that's great, that's nice and tight and complete, has a lot of information, and it's basically me unpacking and telling some stories along the way. So I hope you guys really enjoy that, and you'll tune in for it and watch it the whole way through. Again, for those of you that do comment and like it and all that other stuff, I sincerely appreciate that. It's always a weird thing to me sometimes, and some of my videos will get like hundreds of views, maybe a few just get a couple dozen. And then I have a few that are hitting, you know, a couple of thousand, but it, I don't really get a lot of comments or a lot of things. And I guess I never really address a call to action like, hey, what do you think? I just never think about that because a lot of times I go into a conversational zone and that's about as far as I get. I know I have talked about two different things, one being going live on Twitch and then the other one involving doing a podcast series that would be both audio and visual. There has been some challenges in that. Some of it's been equipment. Some of it's just been trying to figure out when and how. As a freelancer, yes, it allows me a lot of time to do things, but it also can be challenging from not just an income standpoint, but also the mental, <laughs> keeping your mental facilities completely clean and organized when either you're waiting to be paid, waiting to get projects done, or or no money's coming in and no work is happening. And I'm kind of stuck in a weird limbo between that because I've, I've had clients that just didn't need my services anymore. They moved on or done other things. That's great. I've left two clients behind that I just really didn't, it wasn't working anymore. And then I jumped into some other endeavors that in the long run and way down the line may pay off. And that's fingers crossed on a lot of things. A lot of them are personal. Some of them are working with other people and some of them are just bigger projects um, like the murals. But because of that, it makes it really difficult to get other things done. And the biggest challenge has been to be quite fair and frank, quite frank with what I'm explaining here. Uh, a lot of what I'm about to tell you is just, it's hypothetical at this point. So there was one effort made, one episode that was made with my friend Cameron and there was a lot of technical difficulties. The audio was off. I wasn't happy with the end result, even from the visual standpoint, it just didn't work. So I've upgraded a lot of what I'm gonna be doing with that, but I realized that if I really wanna come out swinging, it has to be better than your average podcast. Everybody has a podcast, everybody does. But this was supposed to be something more. And I think if I can make it happen, then I'll talk about that more at that point. It doesn't look like it will be happening until later after September that I will start getting the ball rolling. And that has been a challenge all in its own fucking right. <laughs> it really has. It's not from lack of manpower. It's nothing. It's something I can absolutely do on my own. But it is something that because I the people that I want to talk to, some live out of state, some live further, you know, like 
in areas or places that like it would be a challenge to find a neutral ground or access to see if their studios are open or whatever. I'm just using some different general, you know, reasons. And then that plays into going live on Twitch as well, too. Although um, Digital Absinthe back here, the computer is more than capable of doing exactly what I need for that. I struggle in the idea that if I'm running a YouTube channel, then what in the hell would differentiate Twitch from it? And I don't want it to be something where Twitch becomes the main game because I'm not really interested in producing a one-man show that would rely on me having to learn a lot more stuff right now. Maybe in a year or two, if this is even still a viable option, there's that. But I also argue with myself as to whether or not to just jump in and do something. There's a lot of, and this is not knocking anybody, okay? There's a lot of really subpar stuff. I had seen a comment earlier on Instagram where this guy has a lot of followers and he made a very, very weird and subjectively dumb post that was a three minute reel or post of video that just kept repeating. And half of the, the, the terminology and what, he, what they wrote was nonsense. The follow-up, the first comment on there was them replying back saying, this unfortunately proved what I've always feared. When they make longer form content, when they do certain things, especially on Instagram, the whether it's the algorithm or the engagement, whatever, it just doesn't work. One could sit there and say, yes, companies are very much making this a play, a pay and play sort of circumstance. And I feel that. I feel that a lot, even here on YouTube. But for what it's worth, I do feel that if you create something and, and YouTube allows you to have whatever size format you need for videos, some of them I've seen, <laughs> I've seen day long videos posted on here that are ASMR and stuff like that. There is something for everybody. Um, some of the other channels, especially the ones or some of the other aspects owned by companies like Meta are kind of missing, missing a lot now. And it makes it challenging when you're a creative or anybody, anybody reliant on social media to get the word out about what you do and what you make. Add to that difficulties in trying to keep up with, well, man, I haven't posted any art in a few days or I haven't posted anything creative. And then even when I do, if for some reason I don't share it hard enough or whatever, it doesn't get the views. It's kind of bizarre to me that the video that has one of some of the most views on here is actually the video that covers this pair of scissors. And that's in my Engines of Creations playlist. And I think it's 6.2 thousand views, something like that. And while I'm very pleased about it, and I love, <laughs> I absolutely love that tool. Um, and I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. I think some of it had to do with the fact that people from um, engineer followed it. And I'm grateful for that. That is freaking awesome. And I've had other things too, where I've really done a deep dive in independent games and gotten some good views on videos there because I've managed to get the attention of the people that worked on it. And I'm super happy for that. When that happens, that's fantastic. But I also have to, you know, think about like what I'm doing. And unfortunately, as much as I'd like to be on Twitch and maybe kind of, I thought about maybe using that for the playthrough aspect and then bringing it over and re-editing it. But I've also seen that done so many times by so many people that I want a slightly different thing for Twitch, mainly because of the fact that I feel like just how my attention span is. And because this is sort of my zone, my game, you know, of how I'm doing things online, I don't necessarily want to follow the cleared or the beaten path. I want to try something different, even if it does fail. So at least that way, I get it out of my head about the what ifs. Anyway, this went far longer than I thought it was going to. Like I said, um, I have a I have a video for this Pentax camera and all the stuff that was with it. And there is a lot more photography stuff to look into, including a couple that if it works out uh, with one of them, which I can go ahead and say now, it's a projector. And if you follow me on any other sites, I was really excited to get that. And I think I have something that's gonna work with it that's gonna make it even better. And I've been trying to include a few things like more interactivity with what I'm doing. Like when I reviewed the scissors, I was showing things that could cut and do things like that. And I'm trying to get more of a storytelling aspect out of this stuff. So out of this stuff, I, why did my voice go away? Because it's late. <laughs> 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. I sincerely do appreciate it. Sincerely. Um, it makes my day. This is one of the things that I really do look forward to is creating stuff on here. I never really thought I'd be able to get this channel start growing again. In fact, a lot of people will tell you that once you've had a channel for 13, 14 years or whatever, and you don't pay attention to it, if you try to come back and resuscitate it, it's next to impossible. Well, I'm hoping to prove that wrong. Yes, um, it's a challenge. Boy, is it ever a challenge, but I'm still going to keep on trying and seeing what happens and go from there. I figure the people that want to stick around or want to learn something or just are invested in who I am as a person and the stories I have to tell, that's all I need. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get off this and uh, get back to work. Thanks for watching again, guys, all that stuff and for the input and for a lot of the things that you guys tell me, like in person, via messages, in comments, all of it, even the haters. I, <laughs> I may delete you, but I do appreciate that you had an opinion. So with that, I will catch you guys later. And uh, in the next journal entry, where hopefully I'll have some other good news about some other things. In the meantime, enjoy the videos that will be coming out for the rest of the week. I got two or three, I think, in the works that should be coming out. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next update. Adding to the B-rolls, I'm not exactly sure because that used to be the events thing. And I don't know why my cat decided to get loud now. Anyway, why can't you be chatty when you're not on camera, huh? Why, sir? Yeah. Oh, radar. <laughs>